Oh, let's see. Yep, there we go. There we go. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Hello, everybody. Looks like it's uh, it's once again time to get into the uh, EO4. So let's just continue this uh, safe game that we have going. Where did it really off? Oh yeah, we just finished the war against the Poland here. Take a bit of land. Doesn't look like we can concentrate any of it, no. Nope. We'll just core it all up then. And we just had the admin for it. Nice, nice. What is our next line of objectives going to be? I guess it would be to expand into Russia. And get the eliminate enough. Oh, we already did that actually. Never mind. Uh, so yeah, we just have to call those up. I also have a fort and never. Uh, so what else is that? Control the channel. Oh, for that, I just need to conquer off England, and that's the same for the conquest of England. Uh, down here. Nobility influence lower than 40, less than 3, which is granted to the nobility. Nobility will no longer raise any rebels when a land gets seized after loyalty drops to load 30. Oh, Danish absolutism, that would be very good. Uh, average land overseas economy, nobility at least 3. Uh, we could actually get working towards that. We'd have to start revoking noble privileges though. So, what would we revoke first though? Like, how are we looking economically? Would look better if we probably hired some advisors. We don't need this redip guy anymore since we did integrate Sweden. So, I can. Um, Maybe an improved relations guy instead. But let's get these armies back into our own lands. Since we left off right after war. So where are we going to have rebels? Up there. Let's actually go up and deal with that then. Uh, there's yeah, also going to be Russian separatists. But I think what we want to do is probably... Let's keep conquering all of the Novgorodian land here. Uh, maybe some Muscovite land as well. Maybe we just stick to off the Nov Novgorodian land. So I guess we just fabricate some claims on Russia. Uh, we also can take a rival. So who do we take here? Oh, and have England as our rival. Well, we're going to rival England then. Although they're much weaker than us right now. I don't know why they can rival us or why we can rival them. But I'll take it. Uh, oh yeah, revoke noble privileges. Yes, we could do. Uh, we can also take religious diplomats away, probably. Others, uh, we can take away patronage of the arts, nobility, and take away. Uh, just check. Oh yeah, for the these guys, we want to give Gragni. Well, charters. We won't give them anything else, though. I don't think so. But yeah, which privileges do we want to revoke from nobility? Just for now, the party councillors need to revoke one more as well. Yeah, I guess supremacy over the crown. And uh, what do we need then? Less than three privileges. Need to revoke. Oh, we need to revoke one more, so that's less than three. From Noble Selectorate. Where is that? Guessing it's somewhere in here, right? Or is it? Yeah, because of our risk. 
static ideas finisher oh no that should be that should just be no bullets no bullet ideas finisher right yeah full aristocracy oh reform reform it's a reform so it's one of these nobles electorate oh it was this one okay Oh, we converted some provinces. Well, let's keep converting them. Um, where can we convert? All of this belongs to trade companies, I'm guessing. This is all trade company. There's all of this. So speaking of trade company, can we just uh, think in the long run this probably shouldn't be... In the long run I think these two provinces should probably be trade company or maybe just this one, Novgorod. Not to say, this one is a five province, a four province. Now let's just have like upgrade in Novgorod a bit more. Uh, wait, this isn't in a trade company. What is in a trade company then? So these two are in a trade company. So can we actually accept another culture? No. When do we get the next one? I also want English though. Could go with decentralized bureaucracy. Uh, what is up next? Do we actually want to get to that faster? Uh, that would get faster on full progress. Diplomatic reputation. Absolutism. I think we want to get to general general estates next. That actually sounds like a pretty good one. All the states loyalty, all the states influence a bit up, but it no longer gives influence when we call it diet. And it gives a bit reform progress. Then afterwards we take away this reform progress and get decentralized bureaucracy instead. Yeah. Oh, we have ourselves a merchant. Where from? That's the Baltic company. Build some uh, more trade power here. Let's see, add this to trade company. And let's see. Company depot. Help a bit. Uh, it, needs, oh, it needs more development before we can use the. There's a lot of land trade power in the, in the, the entire Novgorod region. I think I probably want to try and control all of it. Same time, can't go too overboard because of governing capacity. Oh yeah, these, this was a Swedish army. I think this is also a Swedish army. Get it together. Uh, this is part of the Swedish navy. Also part of the Swedish navy. Also part of the Swedish navy. Uh, this is some great ships. They should take them in back. Oh, and we finished the colony. Nice. And now we can go directly over to Africa. It hasn't been colonized yet. have how many we have two colonists 
Amy wants money. No, I don't want to give out my money. I'm sorry. Let us transfer to North Sea from up here. Did I complete? No, I haven't completed exploration yet. So we need to do that before we can start just fabricating. So we could also just start taking the east coast here. What's our navy looking like here? Uh, these should also protect trade. I actually have a pretty big navy here. So we don't need galleys for the navy over here. Oh yeah, this France is uh, very big and blobby. Just eating into the HRE. Oh, Ostrov. Let's make this into a state. And then activate most religious unity. That'll make it a lot faster to convert. Looking over here. A mission. What mission can I complete? Oh, this one. Eliminate Novgorod. All is our king. He's still pretty young. Yeah, let's get this uh, one to all of his stats. That sounds pretty nice. Also just gave us some uh, power on some of these trade routes. If I understood it correctly. All of the Novgorodian route. 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 France I want to keep around, so yeah, you can get some money. Um, I crush these nobles, where are they? Over there. This army isn't too far off what I'm built what I'm building. Oh. Okay. Wait, why did I lose stability? Okay, what caused me to lose stability? I don't understand that. And why did I lose stability? That, that was a bit random. That's undefended. Oh, I guess we'll recall this guy. Send him over there instead. Wait, didn't I say recall? Actually, is a thousand troops enough? Oh, it is. Should be fine. Uh, how long until he arrives? Okay, he's there soon. Oh, 
more rockets over here. So I think I'll just delete this for never again. I don't really see the point to it. Oh wait. I've already occupied those two forts. Wait, how? Were they like mothballed or something? Or did they just bombard them? Lublin, that's there. Oh, is Russia invading Poland as well? Neat. <laughs> Russia is invading Ukraine. No, no. What are you doing, Russia? Why are you doing this? Claim this. So we can't claim that. A, uh... Yay, Denmark! Yeah, that's right, Lon Haley. We are playing Denmark. And for some reason, our forts here were super weak. Wait, did I unlock new forts or something? No, that's not yet, right? Oh, but yeah, hello, Lon Haley. I hope you're doing uh, great, and thank you for joining me here today. Oh, hello, Archie. Uh, would 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 told. Got stopped by having fun. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Uh, I don't understand. Why am I forced this week? How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Right now, I'm just um, you know, playing some U4. Uh, things are going along pretty smoothly, though. Um, this France is kind of plopping a bit out of control. Spain is also out of control. Like I can really feel the um. I heard that they made the AI a lot more aggressive this patch, and I can definitely feel it with this France, because ever since Austria kind of fell off the uh, hook, um, France has just been blopping like wild into the HRE. Which is a bit of an issue if I want to uh, become the Holy Roman Emperor after the, uh, the Protestant uh, League. Oh, they got Catherine de' Medici. Neat. Oh, we got another reform, so I want the general estates here, I think. Uh, I'm a bit diplomatic reputation, absolutism, we're going to have plenty of absolutism, I think. Like, we can't see it just yet, but uh, we already are going to get a lot of absolutism. Because of this um, Danish mission tree, um, when we united Scandinavia, we got... Um, Great Empire of Scandinavia, yeah. plus 12, not 12, um, 20 maximum absolutism. So that's gonna be a pretty, pretty sweet. And we're also going to work on Danish absolutism here, which is going to give 20 more. We're going to be absolutely absolute. And right now we're also working on revoking some noble privileges. <laughs> Who are the nobles? Who, what do they? Who do they think they are? They don't deserve privileges. Uh, let's see. The nobles want us to conquer this stuff. We can easily conquer this. So yeah, 
I mean, the nobles don't deserve privileges, but we can still do what they want. Because what they want is uh, aligning with my uh, goals. I tried learning Danish once, it's hard to master the pronunciation. Yeah, uh, I can understand that. Danish is hard to pronunciate. It's, uh, I don't know. Is it, is it really more difficult than English, though? I feel like it's not that much different, really, when you think about it. Like, both languages are kind of, um, what's it called? Kind of really fucking inconsistent with, uh, uh, with the pronunciation. Quality wool. Neat. So, I'm a little bit over the army force limit here. And I just built some, uh, amps to, uh, get over that. For example, in some of these, uh, grain provinces. True law, yeah. I mean, it's not like, uh, some languages which are, like, super consistent in uh, how everything's pronounced. Like, that's one of the things I liked about, uh, when I tried learning Japanese. At least it's, uh, very consistent in its pronunciation. Uh, the problem is just, uh, the fucking, uh, the fucking kanji. Having, like, uh, so many different fucking meanings. Uh, what do we take here? I think we take... Fastest bread. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I think the same also goes for Korea, and I think that also has really pronunciation rules. As far as uh, I remember. I got like a few courses in it once. It was a long time ago though. So let's make this a trade company. Probably should also make a separate navy for the new world. I have plenty of naval force limit. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, and although I can't really speak on the matter as an expert, I imagine it would be somewhat similar with Chinese. If, uh, if it's like that for both uh, Japanese and Korean. But uh, again, not an expert in that field. Oh, this idea was changed back. It used to be that you could expel minorities for free, but expelling minorities kind of sucked. So I guess they um they changed it to give more settler chance again. Have you tried learning any tonal languages? What's a tonal language? I think we can rid of. I think we can get rid of this fort. Let's see. Let's build a fort up here. A fort down here. The pitch of its phoneme changes its, changes its meaning. Oh, that sounds. Uh, that sounds like a pain in the ass to learn. Not gonna lie. Actually, wait, can I just... It's annoying that these provinces only have one building slot. How to teach yourself, that's for sure. <laughs> I can imagine. But which languages have that? Isn't it... Oh, isn't it, um... I think I heard something about that being a case with Latin. Or is that wrong? Where, like, in Latin, some, uh... Like... Some, uh... Differences between, like, for example, like question, I think, and uh, like, uns like, and statement is just a tone. I don't remember the case. Ah, but then again, I guess like that particular case I was thinking of. That's kind of the same in English. Like, when you ask a question, it's more about the tone. So, who's high school was a long time ago. Ah, uh, how long ago was it for you? Uh, 
Um. This. Let's see. Is it going to be a long and regaling tale? Graduated in 2010. That is quite a while ago. Like 12 years. Uh, oh, we also need uh, to fight England for this. So, we could get an army over to the Isles. Big England's army, not the big. You're old? Uh, I mean, how old is old? I mean, I guess, like, when do- at what age do you graduate high school? Is it like... It's like, what? I should have no idea, like, we don't have, uh, the same school system over here. So, is it like... 18? I mean, I'm sorry, that's not actually that old. Yeah, I mean, that is not that old, right? It does feel old on the internet. Yeah, I can, uh, I can understand that. I'm like 33, and sometimes I feel old when I see uh, kids talking on the internet nowadays. Now let, let's add this one. just want to peace out England as soon as possible. Also, wait. I finished the colony somewhere. Oh, this one. A <laughs> fellow senior. <laughs> am I really a senior at 23? I guess I am. Man, I feel like England keeps flip-flopping between being a great power and not being a great power. Should just make up the mind already. Well, enough ground and calm. Let's take this up. And also enable enforced unity. Didn't I have enforced unity somewhere? Yeah, here. Right, right. <laughs> now that I think about it, I haven't been to Denmark since before high school. Oh, that's a long time ago. Uh, let me just see here. Um, yeah, I keep converting. Um, if, if it was even before high school, then, I mean, do you mean like all the way before you even went there? So it's like, like, uh, wait, wait, wait. how long does high school last? Is it like, is it like three years or something? Oh, wait, what? Wait, why? Why is Friesland allied to some random African tribal kingdom? I just walk to Friesland from here now. Can I please out England already? It would be fun to visit Copenhagen again now that I can drink. <laughs> I can imagine it would be. Uh, what do we actually do over in Copenhagen? I mean, that's a bunch of stuff you, you can see, I guess. Um. I'm not actually too familiar with that. It's been a while since I've been to Copenhagen. Oh wait, I don't have a of access. Oh, we'll just sail. Yeah, I can imagine there's a lot of fun drinking. Oh, 
fucking noble rebels in Slesvig. I haven't really been much into drinking myself, so yeah. I actually only recently started it. Like last Christmas I started drinking. I remember really enjoying the food. Oh, that's uh, surprising to hear. A lot of people seem to think that Danish food is like very boring and bland. Alright, growth of the cattle trade. Wait, development cost plus 10%. More trade efficiency at goods produced. I'm not sure I like this event. But, I mean, I don't know. I guess it also depends where you ate when, uh, when you ate, uh, when you ate the food. Because there are a lot of different places. I mean, I guess that's true for really anywhere you go nowadays. There's a lot of different varieties you can choose from. I don't even remember what I just <laughs> like. Oh, well, I guess that is uh, how it sometimes goes with uh, old memories. Just have a white, vague feeling of it. Actually, I just piece out for the, what I want already. These Canadian holdings. What is my favorite Danish food? Oh, that's a good question, actually. What is my favorite Danish food? Uh, I have to also remember what is even, like, really considered Danish and what's, like, kind of imported. Uh... Hmm. I guess. Even though it's like a... It sounds kind of French. I guess, as far as I understand, it's like a uh, prime Danish dessert. And although it's not like my... Uh, my uh, favorite, like... The, uh, like, the classic Christmas dinners are also very nice. But at the same time, I wouldn't eat them any other time of the year. But like, a traditional Danish Christmas dinner, that is, that is very nice. That is very nice. I want to force religion and... Actually, who else is in this war? Who's that Fulo? Sounds very cozy. Yeah. Nothing's better than... Uh, Big duck and some, uh, some flesky style. Also, since the Empire is so weak, I should probably actually just annex this Marching. We don't care about Verdant's opinion of us, really. Oh, and especially the, uh, like the glazed, uh, or like caramelized potatoes. They, those are always great. That's that's a real Christmas staple. Like, who who wants uh, plain old boiled potatoes when we can have nice and sweet, like candied potatoes? Yeah. Actually, only one for these three provinces, I think. Actually, can I also force that religion? No, it's too much war score. And I'll take money and more money. But yeah. Uh, what else was I thinking about? Dun, 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 dun. Wait, I might have almost Altenburg again already. Wait, why? 
Oh, because oh, okay. I'll pull out and back. <laughs> I just siege them down, and now I'm sieging them down again. Now right, let's take some early administration here. Early modern administration. So I don't remember when didn't they rework state houses as well? So that like. Actually, let me just check. Do I have any manufactories built up yet at all? Two over there. Can I build a state house here? No, state houses, they still take on a manufacturing slot. Okay. Good to know. In that case... Where is it good to build some? Yes, we have a bunch of cattle here. We don't need cattle. And we even less need fish. Fish is like one of the weakest trade goods in this game, I feel. Fish are so, so damn useless. Uh, da, da, da. Local governing increase cost, wait, what? Not sure what that means. Uh, oh, the nobility really likes us now. So, let's go into the states and revoke. Let's just revoke this for now. That means we can completely revoke the privileges. And now we can work towards getting absolutism. Let's see, what does it cost to buy stability right now? Reduce by those and religious unity. How about I revoke? Which is it? This one? This one? Just for the time being. Oh, also, guessing the cattle and we are the big trade commodities. Uh, if we just go and look at, let's see some goods here. Like cattle are very common across Europe and really the entire world. Though so, cattle are more generally livestock in this game. So uh, I suppose like that's like an uh, what's it called? It's a, um, an abstraction. It's not just cows. Like for example, it would also be pigs in Denmark. And then we have fish. There's of course a lot of fish around the world, along the coastlines. And we don't actually have any grain in Denmark. But we have some here. Grain. That's uh, also one of the trade commodities that's uh, very abundant and not very valuable. Some things that are very valuable are iron and copper. Like, there's not a lot of copper in the west here. Yeah, and iron. That's a decent amount of iron, actually. And of course there's some rarer stuff. Like wine here. It's like wine is not actually that great now that I think about it. Like it has the same base price as cattle or livestock. What you really want is stuff like gold. Gold, gold, that's sexy. And right now fur is like alright, but fur is going to become very luxurious later in the game. Even with abstraction, I'm always impressed with detail in these simulation games. Yeah, I can understand that. So apparently in a from what I can understand, in Victoria 3 that's coming out soon, it's going to be even more detailed. Because it's basically going to be an economy simulator. Whereas with the EU4 here, there's a lot more military strategy. Whereas uh, in Victoria 3, it, I think, as far as I understand, they completely removed like player control in a war. The only thing you control in war in Victoria 3 is the logistics. Which uh, sounds very um, interesting. As a concept, I must say, but uh, I'm also a bit skeptical how that's going to turn out. Yeah, <laughs> as you might imagine, like the most most of the trade goods in Europe are not that exciting, because the Europeans are incentivized to go to the New World to find stuff like cocoa and sugar and um, let's see, cocoa and sugar and oh yeah, ivory and slaves and to oh yeah, tobacco of course, tobacco and cotton. Not to forget cotton. Yeah. We want to expand across the world to get all of these valuable trade goods flowing back to Europe. Oh, and now the coffee boom just happened, so now coffee is more valuable. Sugar cane. I mean, yeah, sugar. Sugar, sugar. Uh, okay, so in this particular game, there's not so much sugar in the Caribbean. People thought, yeah, there's going to be a lot of fur from uh, America. Like, all of these provinces are currently producing fur. 
Like that, that's like an absurd amount. And yeah, that's also a lot of fur over in um, uh, in Scandinavia and Russia. Not a lot, actually. Yeah, most of it is going to come from uh, America. But uh, yeah, right now it's not very expensive. Fur is actually one of those trade goods that start out not very valuable because I mean it's just fur. But then slowly, as the game progresses, it becomes uh, more expensive. Like for example, we have felt hats that happened a while ago, and increased the price by like 35 percent. And then later in the game, we're going to get an event that's called the depletion of the European beaver, where like the price of furs is going to increase by like I think 50 percent or something, on top of the already existing like 35 percent. So it becomes a very valuable trading good. So, yeah, that's also something I like in this game with the trade goods, like the value changes in the game. Like for example, also, uh, let's see, for example, paper, I think paper starts out, um, base price is like 3.5, which is pretty good. But like, at some point it like skyrockets and it like becomes one of the most valuable trade goods in the entire world for a short period. Tracks with what I remember from history class, yeah. Uh, things fluctuate in price. Also, for example, when um, uh, when Amer the Americas were discovered, we got the Colombian Exchange that made grain more, uh, like made grain cheaper, but made livestock more expensive because the New World can supply lots of grain and they want more livestock over there. So that's how that's simulated. And also, actually, I wonder, has the triangle trade event happened yet? Just check. Yeah, triangle trade has happened where well, slaves become 50% more valuable. Uh, okay, so we got a seat of strong aristocrats in Lund. Oh, we got a really good heir here, Christian. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. And a nice Dorothea's Empress Consort. Also, we can finish off exploration ideas. So let's do that. So, oh, we completed our Danish ideas, we gives, which gives us oh, this Danish absolutism, <laughs> even more absolutism, jeez. I mean, I remember in history class I would learn a lot about um, about absolutism in Denmark because, I mean, it was a pretty important period, I guess, but man, this is like almost excessive how much absolutism I'm going to have. Like, 20 from this mission, 20 from this mission. So this mission didn't, this thing didn't really happen IRL since this is Unite Scandinavia and Scandinavia became kind of disunited with time. Yeah, I'm going to have like plus 50 to maximum absolutism, oh my god, that's absurd. Uh, also, we should get a soldier back over there and protect this Gold Coast colony. Oh, it's producing ivory, nice. But do you remember in history class when you heard about Danish Canada? That's a totally a historically accurate thing and totally not something that's like um, a few centuries too late. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. I know, right? Growth of the printing industry. Oh. So uh, now the printing press has spawned, and it spawned somewhere in Germany, of course. And let's see, yeah, so Frankfurt became the birthplace of the printing press. So now, printing press is going to start around, spreading around, and of course, it's going to spread fast in Protestant nation nations. Gutenberg, wait, Gutenberg is that a is that a place? No, that's not a place. What, what do you mean by Gutenberg? I remember the printing press. Oh, was that the... Was he mentioned in the event pop-up that I didn't read? <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah, that's also going to be nice because we need stability. So, let's get to embracing the printing press as fast as possible. Uh, let's see... I mean, it's going to get here slowly by itself. Let's see... How fast is it going to spread over here? 
not actually going to spread that fast around Frankfurt, it seems. But it will spread naturally. Hmm. Remembering from my own history lessons. Oh. Well, maybe I should try doing that again as well sometime. But yeah, we need to... It would be nice to speed this up a bit. So, can we like just develop a bit in, for example, this Chilean here? Let's do that. Let's go to fresh development. Do Danish history classes manage to portray colonialism as a bad thing? Uh, oh, now I have to remember back to my history lessons. <laughs> Can't say that American ones do. Honestly, colonialism wasn't such a big deal in Danish history, so I guess it just doesn't really say much about it in general. Like, whenever we learned about the history in class, like in colonialism and stuff, it would be limited to stuff like um, the Danish East Indies and um, like Danish Ghost Gold Coast, where it was like, oh, Denmark had like a few forts along the coast and like a uh, Owned a few small islands over in the Caribbean. So, yeah. Not a lot to say in history classes. Though in English classes, we learned a lot about American, uh, like, about, like, American history. Uh, I guess that's the closest to stuff we learn about colonialism, really. Uh, I guess in, like, Danish history classes, like, stuff like, um, colonialism in Africa and Asia wasn't really covered that much. Just the, uh, the colony... Con was it? <sighs> Let me just gather my thoughts so I can actually say stuff correctly. Like, we learned about... Yeah, American history. <laughs> America teaches a real roast version of its own history, I can imagine. I think most countries kind of default towards that. Because everybody wants to be the hero of their own story. Oh, Dumfries is rebelling. So... And I feel like I'm constantly helping France in wars. Uh, also, now that I did that mission, I can give the nobles some privileges back. Like, like for example, command. No, not that one. Nobility and officer core. Uh, as far as I, as I know, like the only country that really, like, like really goes hard on. What's it called? Condemning it's uh bit of a subject change, but you're familiar with Toho. Oh yeah, 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 of course I am familiar with Toho. So I'm curious what uh what prompted this uh change in uh, subject. But yes, I know Toho. Um and like a real Toho fan, I don't actually play the mainline games. I just uh played like some spin-offs and read some manga and listened to the music. <laughs> I would love to see one of these games, but for different factions in Gensokyo. Oh, I wonder how that would play out. Because Gensokyo is a very small place from what I know. So, I wonder how that would play out. Also, I think, uh, also the same, lol, well, just got through gay fanworks in Silent Sina and Blue. Silent Sina and Blue? I haven't heard about that one. Is that a, is that a, is that a gay, or oh, gay, <laughs> is that a gay fanwork? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I meant is to say, is it a is it a game or a manga or something? <laughs> a gay manga. It's one of the official manga. Oh, nice. Silent Sin and Blue. Uh, who's that about? Uh, the only manga that I have finished so far is the Wild and Horned Hermit. Uh, also, I can declare war on Russia. Should I declare one Russia? No, I think I would prefer to finish off Death Marching first. Wait, am I not spying on Death Marching? I am. Loved Wild and Horde Hermit. Yeah, it's a great manga. 
That's not the best. She is pretty great. So, also like how it was uh, played up as like um, her being an only was like a big reveal when like I mean, anyone had basically everybody had figured it out. Like, uh, I think. Uh, no, uh, no shame if uh, anybody here was uh, reading it and didn't figure out that a uh, cousin was only before the uh, the f uh, what's it called climax reveal. We need to call in France for this. No, but would it be funny to? Yes, it would. Especially if you're familiar with Ibaraki Doji. Uh, I'm actually not that familiar. The only uh, stuff I really know about the Ibaraki that uh, she draws inspiration from is the uh, the Fate version of her. Or him or them. I'm not actually sure. Like, is uh, Ibaraki Doji like the one from uh, Japanese mythology? Was that a, a guy or girl? Like, is that another gender band? Mostly just a missing arm bit. Oh, okay. E. Fell up a bit. A bunch of military power. That should be fun. That's a an advancement effort. Right from there. To there and. There. Oh, so, um, it's actually a complicated question. Some version of Ibaraki, a woman married to shooting doge and some are dude. Yeah, that's, uh, I guess it's just complicated. <laughs> As usual, mythology and legends and all that jazz, it's complicated. Honestly, I'd be surprised if it wasn't complicated. Oh, wow, look at that. Just casually 100,000 French guys just teaching down in this one province. But yeah. <laughs> Let's establish some shooting in Ibaraki again if Geo though, lol. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. I mean, uh, Ibaraki is uh, constantly simping for shooting, that's for sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh, I, I wonder, is it in, uh, in Fate lore, was, uh, were they also married there? I'm actually unsure. No, oh, and we siege down Altenburg. Who else are we at war with here? Uh, that's the wrong map mode. Oh, we also finished the siege of this margin. I don't know. Oh, okay, that's fair. I don't know either, that's what I was asking. Uh, I guess... I wonder, does it maybe stay, say, in um, Shuden's bio? Oh, spice trade. Now spices are more valuable. Nice. Yeah, I wonder if it actually says in, um... In, uh, the Shuden, in Shuden's, uh... Materials in FGO. Since I did just roll her recently, I could maybe go and look. You have a favorite Toho character. Um, Yuka, I think I would have to say. And it's it's not because I want her to step on me or anything. It's uh, I just I, th I just think she's cool. That's 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 all of it. There's there's nothing more to it. I believe you. Nice, good, 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 good. You should believe me. It's the right thing to do. Can I get through here to maybe break the lines with run sweat? Definitely just think that you carry is neat. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't want to do anything on what? Yeah, exactly. We just think that these characters are neat. Nothing more to it. 
can still stress out. All of these people who like want to do loot things with their best girls here. Like, I don't get it at all. Not at all. We just appreciate good characters. And that's all. Yes. Humo humo. Yeah, we're also fun with Gasla. Uh, who else am I at war with? Ansbag and Nasa. Oh, I don't have diplomats. Humo, 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 humo. Oh, we can convert these guys, I think. Convert you to the true religion of Protestantism. Else I might war with Algberg. <laughs> Poor Algberg, I was just at war with them. Now I'll take all of their money again. Oh, don't think I've heard this um this uh piece of music. Wonder was this a new one with a new patch, I wonder, or new expansion. Oh, finish calling up these provinces. Time to convert them to the true religion. Just get a bit pets in as well. And let us annex this mine. Oh wait, Brabant is also in the war. Well, how about I force your religion to be cast on a Catholic Protestant? It's going to force in a new emperor. Actually, I wonder how many Catholic nations are still in the empire? Wait. Can you make custom religions in this game? Unfortunately, no. Uh, not in the base game. I mean, you can of course do everything you want with mudding. But uh, in the, during the course of a game, no, you can't make custom religions, unfortunately. That would be in the realm of Crusader Kings instead. Which is another, like, game in this, uh, in this style. Keep the fork in this machine actually. Ah, I see, I've seen some amount of CK, yeah. CK is a lot more um, customizable. Lots of inbreeding, oh yeah, yeah. It's the inbreeding simulator. That's just how it goes in the, in the medieval times, you know? That's just how it goes. You just have to uh, keep it in the family. If you can't keep it in your pants, keep it in the family. I think that's how the, uh, the proverb goes or something. <laughs> oh, Automat <laughs> disallowed that message. Habsburg slaughter. <laughs> so actually, like the um, the uh, Habsburg era, that's this game. So um, Austria actually lost the Habsburgs. But yeah, uh, like at the starting period in the... Um, oops, where'd they go? Wait. Oh, the Habsburgs. Well, they just kind of stopped being a thing because... Uh, okay, so the way that uh, dynasties work in this game is uh, monarchies, they have a ruling house. Like uh, here it's Podeblatt. We have um, von Wittelsbach. And there's also von Wittelsbach here. But if we find a country that doesn't have an heir right now, for example man here just it's just a small uh, duchy actually it's a kingdom but whatever they have a um a mac conagal here but uh, if he dies right now then just a noble a um like a local noble ascends to the throne but if we for example had a royal marriage with them then when he dies a noble of our dynasty ascends to the throne so you can kind of spread around your dynasty like that also, and France just annexed Switzerland, like, Jesus Christ, they're just massive. Like, this France is gonna be like Napoleon, like Napoleonic France before Napoleon even gets a chance to be uh, to be born. I just want this, uh... I want this, uh, what's it called? 
What does a leaf want to uh, fire? Or uh, before France just eats up the entire HRE? So, when that happens, what do I do against France? <laughs> like, if I actually want to reclaim the land for the HRE, it's going to be a fucking nightmare to fight France. That's this big. Might have been a bit of a mistake to ally them. Yeah, what I'm talking about is uh, the um, like the religious war, the Thirty Years' War that we had in our timeline. That's going to determine the official faith of the Holy Roman Empire. And it should pop up any second. English separatists. Uh, I guess we'll have to send a navy over to England. And I'm not giving back Imperial territory. This is rightful Danish land now. Oh, wh what are you fighting? Oldenburg. Against Brunswick. Well, that's a pretty big Brunswick. But uh, they're gonna get killed by France at some point, I think. France also conquered the Maine. So. France is a f France is scary, okay? Oh. Oh. Oh, could I maybe actually ally the Ottomans? That's actually interesting. Use the Ottomans to destroy France. Air falls ill. Uh, okay, good. Didn't want to lose our very good air here. That was a 50% chance he would have died right now. But no, we managed to keep Christian. Uh, so, yeah, I think we'll just, uh, let's see. What do I need right now? Let's ask for soldiers, I guess. And then we'll rival France. I can't actually rival them. Rival Spain, I guess. But if I can actually just improve relations enough with the Ottomans, yeah, I can ally them. Yeah, nice. Well, hopefully I can get to use them against France in the future. France called a crusade against the Ottomans. I have to head out, but it was very nice chatting with you. Oh uh, yeah, likewise, likewise. It was nice that uh, you came by. I uh, hope to uh, see you again sometime. So yeah, cheers and uh, well, good luck with whatever it is you're doing. Also. Those within them expired, you say? Well, I think that means it's time to conquer England. Wakama, that's over here, right? Oh, I should actually keep an eye on the. Uh, what are centers of trade? That's the center of trade. Well, oh. <sighs> oh, type to invade England. We'll just call in France. France can deal with Portugal and Spain. Now let's declare for. You know what? Let's declare for London. London is going to be our city. Oh wait, no, uh, England England is going to be our city. That's how it goes, yeah. Hey, wouldn't it be really funny if we just take over all of mainland England and England just exists over in, uh, in Ireland? We take over Northern Ireland and all of Scotland and England and just leave England alive in uh, this part of Ireland. Hey, isn't that it? Wouldn't. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to every British person in, uh, in existence for uh, joking about that. I, I should feel bad.
enemy naval invasion. Oh shoot. That's a that's a Portuguese naval invasion. Why is France focusing on Galway? I don't want them to focus on Spain. Uh, yeah, they're just going to right in that. Yeah, we're a bit behind in the car in the game. Thank you, good luck with the rest of your stream. Oh, thanks. Didn't notice that there. Oh, and they are starting in Africa. I guess I need to have more armies everywhere. All nice America. Oh, American conquistador. Gain a permanent claim on every cent of trade province with an estuary and colonial cover P and oh, that sounds like a pretty nice thing. Dansk West Indian, yes. We'll be conquering the Caribbean. Or Denmark. And we actually do this right now. Let me just go and check. Country. Country. Development. I have to find nations. Uh, more than 200 development. We could influence and pack here. Like Uzbek and Ethiopia. Uh, so, Eth Ethiopia. The allies of Portugal. Oh. Lithuania actually wants uh, independence from Poland. Probably because Poland is so weak at this point. Poland is basically uh, migrating down to being um, Slovakia. How are the states? Oh, we could actually like conquer the modern day borders of Poland if we wanted to. It would be these states we would need to conquer, but uh, how would we want to do that? We're still allied to Brandenburg, who is now a republic. Uh, if I actually want to influence the electors here, who should I try to ally instead? Could actually try to get rid of Brandenburg. Get Saxony on board instead. That might be a play. So for now, let's make some claims on Brunswick here. Also, let's peace out Galway. Do they have any colonies? They don't. The case, more wraps and money. Lübeck, yeah. Let's take extra trade power on Lübeck. Roll. Uh, not too weak. Well, I still have a Habsburg though. Oh, did they actually just fucking burn my colony there? Oh, that's just rude. Uh, 
Oh, so I can press the br printing press. Oh, I think I wanted to, wanted to spread around a bit more first. They're just occupying all of my colonies. As I'm more focused on the European theater. Oh, it's a converted province. I completely forgot to plug out um, uh, plug in the uh, what's called cheaper development. And I diving was stepping there. That's back. Sorry, name. Uh, what state is that? Okay, so I need to own those provinces. I'll try that after this war is done. Where are they coming in now? Already occupied. Converted as well. Nice. What? Oh, Spain is also colonizing in uh, in India now. Well, I don't know if I want to allow that. Friesland is in this war. Well, let's uh, do something to you, eh? That falls the religion. We'll just take more reps and money. We can beat them. Uh, well, we must help our colony, I guess. Wait, I thought I sent a bonus here. Oh yeah, I have to click an extra button. Deny that petition. I'll not be giving out land to the beggar. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. No freebies for you. So let's beat up these Portuguese. And let's take more wars gone versus other religions. I think we'll just be seizing these uh, Spanish colonies. We can't. Only colonies can be seized. Wait, this is... Oh, I guess it just finished up.
teach the colony. Then the colonists to make it Danish. Let's also build a investment over here. That's going to give us the trade power we need, I wonder. Not Oh, it did. Nice. So let's place a merchant. Actually, do we want to place a merchant here? I think we would rather place a merchant in Krakow. Use the no. transfer from Saxony. Um, we'll transfer from uh, here. I think that's more efficient. This is okay. I can make some more claims on Russia. Where do I have my claims right now? Right there. Right there. Let us also claim this. I guess we'll be going for Russia after we're done with this England war. a little Portuguese army. Uh, what's this general? 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, we should be able to squash that. Squash that. Okay, so can we get an admiral for this army? Maybe. We can. He's really good. So I guess we should actually just be, um, you know, starting to conquer all of these native nations. Actually, let's uh, begin to make this spy networks. So let's claim this province, all that guy back. Uh, let's deal with those rebels, we don't want the big stuff from us. Let's take a bit of stuff from Spain though. Like these Canadian holdings. I don't want you to have those. Let's also take Ape right there. And also take all of their money. Wait, I can't call this. Oh, because this is occupied, I guess. Oh, can we peace out England, perhaps? How's it looking with Portugal? We can peace out Portugal. We want anything in Portugal right now, not right now. to lose innovativeness so let's embrace press and tech and tech oh we got new cannons was it yes let us take the large cast iron cannon yes sounds fun 
Oh, we got Vinland. And the Reformation. Church power gave us with every known Christian and Catholic country. Not... Do we need the church power right now, actually? I don't think we do. But if we... We could change our religion a bit. To, for example... Oh, changing some monthly autonomy. Let's take it now. Threat the reformation. Uh, we just have to do stuff. I'm not sure what though. And one of the following must be true. Less than. Uh. Da, 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 da. Okay, so. Okay, so one of the following must be true. Uh, one of the following must be true. That's uh, one member of the HRE, or all of the following must be true. So on the winning side of the religious league war, and present the dominant faith. Uh, something. I think we also have to convert more countries. I'm not sure how it works, that nation. It's a, it's a bit complicated in its wording. Now we're looking in a diplomatic slots. Have an extra slot available. Ah, oh, they have an average claim here yeah, now. Anyway, let's uh, let's marry sex. Yeah. Also improve relations with Asia. I don't think we need to make any more claims in Russia. We also need to send a diplomat over here. So let me just check Colonial. That's Colonial Columbia. Oh. Take one of this. And let's also take... Actually, let's just take all of it. And let's also take... As much as we can over in mainland Europe. This volition uh, repair. Now we crap. Let us tax Finland. Yeah, let's do that. I can call that down there now, yeah. Extend. Run power to France. Yeah. Oh, what am I getting a merchant from now? South Africa. Oh, yeah, because we control Cape. So let us send two. Where are we sending two? I don't have that much strength in the English Channel yet. So I don't think we should focus on that. Right now, we're still just maintaining a stranglehold on Lübeck.
So let us spend more there and conquest of Como against Milan. No, you just keep doing that. Oh, Poland is just being invaded by everyone now. Oh, let's see, where are all of our armies? One there, one there, one over here. I need to get myself some... Oh, I can actually just split it up this uh, navy. guy up there. Actually, let's just, uh, let's not worry about recruiting the guy here. Instead, let's just exterminate the natives in this province. So where was that death march? Hmm? Let us yeah, get this snake or this army back home. We want both the army and the navy back home. Uh, can we get Bohemia to break the lines with Brunswick? Lions. I can't get them to break the lines because they're at war. Oh, this is not good. We lost a lot of more men to attrition there than I had uh, imagined. Well, we are winning. Lublin. Wait, haven't I already beaten the rebellion there? Is it because of uh economy? No. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, we'll are next to Milan. I guess I'll have to give them that. Also, can I build some more manufactories? Like for example, over here. Oh, did Lithuania actually... Oh no, Horn is still over there. I want to invade Lithuania, but it's also a pain to deal with Portugal. I don't have a new world navy over there right now. I have to build one. Let's build a new world navy. How much are we going to need? 14 characters that we can afford right now. Let's build them here. I guess we can just deal with Russia in the meanwhile. They don't really have anybody, uh... Oh, increase in influence of the Protestant faith. Nice. Can I break, get you to break your lines now? And... And I'll just take a Visma and Rasta. 
Oh wait, they also took Strassland. Behold, so my plan was to make it that. I don't have military access through Panting Back. Yeah, Protoss didn't fake this triumphant. Have a Protestant Empire. We are still working on that path. <laughs> oh, wait. And then reinforce to there. That's some wonky zone of control. Uh, okay, we finished that colony. Let us... Where are we going next? I think we go over here. Knock down the Gold Coast. Or build one more infantry, because that's a lot of natives. So let's take this boat down there. Didn't we have a three siege general? We don't. We have a two siege general. Yeah, and I thought that would happen, so that's why we're on the way down there. Control and inflation or loans, I guess, and inflation. So, before we do that, let's. Should have stabbed up while I wasn't there. Hmm. Over extension is still. Let's take that. Oh, the Ottomans declared one Transylvania. They're going to Hotel Transylvania. Wow, why? Are, how are they sieging that Raymond so fast? Oh, and of course they actually uh, also win the siege immediately. On like 20%, because why wouldn't they? Meanwhile, I'm at 35% and still haven't won my siege yet. Plus, if I could do that, that would just be too easy, wouldn't it? We should probably keep propping up Vinland, actually. Actually, we should focus on some of this land instead. Oh, actually, no. This up here, that's not tribal land, so we can't conquer it. We can always conquer tribal land. Just 
just have to actually have an army to do it. Which will be this army when uh Session War. What? Wangle start. Neat. Oh, our diplomat is dead and our master recruit is dead. Let us get who Let us get... Let's see, can we get an inflation guy? And... Got another trade guy. I don't remember if we've gotten the radical reform yet. Uh, let's see. I think we can afford to take a... Three mil. Especially if we... No, we shouldn't give that privilege out yet. I was thinking the... Um, How are these guys sieging so fast? Meanwhile, I just can't siege for shit. Herring runs out. No! Uh, let's not build that palace. We don't need extra prestige and legitimacy. We already have so much prestige and legitimacy. We are the most prestigious and most legit. Some more iron provinces. Hey, where? Where did I build those? Oh, over in England. Mm. I should be stating all of this up. But do I have the governing capacity? Bitch. Can concentrate this. Yeah, let's do that. Concentrate this and this and this. And do that. Come on, how are they besieging so fucking fast? Can I call France in? Can I call France in? Can I call... <coughs> uh, let us not actually extend that monopoly. I will give them back supremacy over the crown, though. Guess I can give the monopoly on the gemstones. Can I give any monopoly to these guys? Wool, sure. Not the burgers. No. Little sex is rebelling. Yes, I need to send an army over. Yes, we'll have some disloyal princes as well. I should gonna call Bohemia right now. How about Brandenburg? Would you join this? You would. them in a defensive position. Uh, stability increases, nice. Uh, let me just quickly buy some stability here. Uh, then we should be able to take Danish absolutism here, yes. Oh, 
Danish Columbia. Yes, let's also have a Danish Columbia. Is this is a forest, it's a woods. Oh. Let's just consolidate first. And beat them up. Dorothea is apparently a blessing. Let's see, are we at war with anybody who's not Protestant? I don't think we are. Oh, wait. The union partner on the Brunswick. Also, I just had a thought. I should maybe try and build some uh, more courthouse. Yeah, that's going to help on governing capacity. Rakai. Don't have an army nearby to deal with that. I could build an army though. Like this. Just build it up in uh, Stockholm. I was a bit more with Eastricia, uh, Saxony. I want these provinces. Be a tiny coalition. But not one we wouldn't be able to deal with. Also take can't actually take a uh, military technology. But let's actually disable all its edicts. Oh, if I want to develop some manpower, I guess I can do it here. Encourage development. And uh, let's also um is it organized through bishops? And let's off development uh Organize, develop some manpower. Just create some manpower through orgies. Organized orgies, yes. Oh, let's analyze Saxony, sure. Also, we deal with these rebels. Also, send these guys over to the Russian front. What? Why are we losing stability whenever we enter the call to war? What's going on here? not because of this, right? Uh, no. 
Why am I losing stability every time my ants are called to arms? Not because I'm defender of the faith, right? Wait, I'm confused. Why do I keep losing stability when answering a call to war? Let me just Google this. Is it because they have I had like a opinion of them or something? No, that can't be it. Wait, why why am I losing stability? Uh <laughs> I can't seem to see what's going on here. Strange, that's very strange. So I can upgrade these ships, let's actually do But yeah, let's see who are they at war with. And they're actually kind of depending on me to carry them in this war. Is it because I had a lot of war with Axony? Because I just allied them? Well, that doesn't make any sense. You don't lose that from being called into that. Anyway, let's just try and end this quickly. Got some more fur. In my petition, let's kill some rebels. Where were they? There. Do I need a fort somewhere over here? bad thing about Poland is uh, all of this really easily developable, developable land is also not easy to defend. A lot of natural barriers. Let's just take the prestige head now.
with these drums that have a religious seal. Max. I think I'll build a fort here. I should protect nicely. Uh, why did I have this merchant placed previously? I'm pretty sure this is one that I've placed before. I guess we'll just put him in the Saxony. See, can't develop any more manpower here right now. Let's develop some manpower here then. Nice. There's some barracks here now. Wrists. Are we also going to get some Northumbrian rebels, it seems? Man, man, are you serious? Man, this will decrease unrest, so let's actually build a temple there. Even if we don't care that much about the tax. But let's get this navy over to the new world. been playing for long today but I think I might be cutting it short here. Like I'm actually pretty tired today. Yeah. I know. Not really feeling it right now. Sorry if uh, anybody was looking forward to more map painting. But uh, this is going to be what it amounts to today. So uh, yeah. Uh, thanks to everybody who came by. Uh, well, I'll see you all again next time. Uh, yeah, I'll be ending here.